all my crafty friends. This is Fun Day Monday number 13. Today we're going to be working on hat number seven, which is the final hat that we're going to be making this year for the Hat Not Hate project. And I took some time to kind of play around with some stitches and work them up in different um, combinations and styles, trying to find that perfect hat pattern that would just in this project with a big send off. And so I think I have come up with something that is very appropriate and I have decided to name this hat the joy hat because anyone who's not bullied is going to be filled with joy and of course joyful creations. So the yarn that I'm going to use today for this hat is by Loops and Threads. It is part of the Soft and Shiny. It is a medium four weight yarn. It has 311 yards. It's a six ounce skein, which equals to 170 grams. And it is in the colorway Blueberry. It's a very, very pretty color. Hope that shows up very well for you. But so the stitch that we're going to mostly use today is the half double crochet stitch. If you are new and you're not familiar with that stitch, I do have a video on dishcloths that you can look up with the half double crochet stitch. And I'll try and include that video um, link in this description box as well. So you can just kind of go click on it and just practice a little bit if you need to. If you do not need to practice and you're ready, we'll grab your hooks, grab your yarn, and meet me at the craft table and we'll get started making our joy hat. The items that you're going to need for today's tutorial are a pair of scissors, you will need a yarn needle or a darning needle, however you refer to it. You will need a stitch marker. We're going to be using a crochet hook J10 or six millimeter. The yarn that you're going to be using and of course our lotion because we need to keep our best tool moisturized and hydrated. So as we're rubbing in our lotion, let me just tell you that we're going to work this hat from the top down to the bottom. We're going to start with the magic ring. If you have never done a magic ring, you're not comfortable with it and need some practice, I will also include in the description box a tutorial that I have created on how to successfully make a magic ring and it actually gives you a couple options on making that magic ring. So if you're ready, we're going to grab our hooks, grab our yarn, and we're gonna get started. So to get started with our hat, we're gonna go ahead and create our magic ring. And we're gonna chain one just to secure that magic ring on. And we're gonna put six half double crochets into the center of our magic ring. And to do that, we yarn over, insert our hook, yarn over and pull up a loop. We now have three loops on the hook, one, two, three, and we're gonna yarn over and pull through all three loops. We're gonna do that five more times so that we have a total of six half double crochets into the center of our ring. I know it's a little bit difficult trying to make those half double crochets because you have nothing to hold on to. If it becomes really difficult for you, then go ahead and chain two and work six half double crochets into that second chain. And five, and six. All right, we're gonna make sure that our chain and our stitches are all going in the same direction and they're laying flat. And when they are, we're gonna start pulling our magic ring together so that our stitches 
come together and form a circle and we're going to give it a tight tight pull there and then I'm going to tighten my hook onto my yarn and we're going to go right into the top of that first half double crochet and we're going to join the round with a slip stitch and that is the center of our ring we're going to go ahead and chain three so one two and three this is going to count as our half double crochet and our chaining turn even though we're technically not turning it'll count as our our turning chain for the round we're going to go ahead and work a half double crochet right into the same stitch that we just did that chain three in and that's going to give us two half double crochets into that same stitch so we've got one and we've got two okay and I am going to work my foundation tail in as I go around so I don't have to weave it in later so going into the next stitch we are going to work two half double crochets and for me it's kinda of hard to see with this dark teal yarn so I hope that you are able to see clearly what I am doing on the video and it's not too hard for you to see either so as we are working two half double crochets in each of those six half double crochets at the end of this round which is round two we will have a total of twelve half double crochets and we're getting very close to the end here and if you need to just stop this video and count your chain or your excuse me your half double crochets to make sure you've got all 12 so when you have all 12 half double crochets we are going to give that tail another kind of pull make sure we've got it closed in nice and tight but not too tight that we can't work into our stitches and then I am going to go ahead and just snip off the rest of that tail because I've worked it in a complete round and then we're going to go to the very top of that chain three and we are going to slip stitch to join round two and we're going to chain three, one, two, and three. And now we're going to work a half double crochet right into the same stitch as that chain three. And we're going to work two half double crochets in each stitch around again, like we did with round two. And when we come to the end of round three, we will have a total of 24 half double crochets. So go ahead and work your two half double crochets in each stitch around and I will meet up with you at the end of round three and we will join and go to round four together. When you get to the end of round three and you have 24 half double crochets, we're going to go right into the top of our chain three and we're going to slip stitch to join and we're going to chain three, one, two three and this row is going to start our increasing rounds to increase the circumference of the top of our hat and we're going to do that 
this chain three is going to count as our first half double crochet into this uh, stitch right here. So we're then going to move to the next stitch and we're going to work two half double crochets into that stitch. So one and two. We're going to work go to the next stitch and we're going to work a half double crochet just one into it and we're going to move on to the next stitch and we're going to work two half double crochets and we're going to repeat that pattern of one two one two all the way around round four when we get to the end of round four you should have a total of 36 half double crochets so go ahead and work that pattern of one, two, all the way around round four, and I will meet you at the end. When you get to the end of round four and you have 36 stitches, we are going to slip stitch right into the top of that chain three. wiggle it in there and we're going to join with a slip stitch made my chains a little tight there we go all right and we're going to chain three one two three that chain three is going to count as that first half double crochet. We're then going to go to the next stitch and we're going to work a half double crochet in it. And then we're going to go to the next half double crochet and we're going to work two half double crochets in it. And then moving on to the next one, we're going to work one half double crochet into the next stitch we're going to work one half double crochet and into the next stitch we're going to work two half double crochets and we're going to repeat that pattern of one one two all the way around and we should have a total of 48 half double crochets when we get to the end of round five so go ahead and complete that pattern of one one two all the way around ending with 48 half double crochets and I will meet you at the end of the round and we'll join and move on to round six. When you get to the end of round five and you have 48 half double crochets we are going to go right into the top of that chain three and we're going to slip stitch to join. We're going to chain three, one, two, three. That chain three is going to count as our half double crochet in that first stitch. We're going to go right into the next stitch and we're going to work one half double crochet. We're going to go to the next stitch and work one half double crochet. And we're going to go to the next stitch and we're going to work two half double crochets. And this is going to be our repeating pattern. One, 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 two. So there's one half double crochet in that stitch, one half double crochet into this stitch, go into the next, one half double crochet, and in the next, we're going to do two half double crochets. And we're going to repeat that pattern again of one, 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 two, all the way around. When we get to the end of this round, we will have a total of 60 half double crochets. So go ahead and work that repeating pattern all the way around and I will meet you at the end and we'll join and go on to the next round together. When you get to the end of round six and you have 60 half double crochets, you will also notice that your work is starting to get kind of all wobbly and wonky. Don't let that worry you. It's going to work itself out and take its shape after we finish our increasing rounds. And we are on our last increasing round as we start round seven. So let's finish round six by joining with a slip stitch in the top of that chain three. 
we're going to chain three and we're going to work our last increasing round on round seven so that chain three is going to count as our first half double crochet we're going to go into the next stitch and work one half double crochet one half double crochet into the next stitch one half double crochet into the next stitch and into this next stitch we're going to work two half double crochets so now our repeat pattern is one 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 two and as we work that pattern as we come to the end of round seven we will have a total of 72 half double crochets so go ahead and complete this round of one 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 two and I will meet you at the end and we will end round seven together and then we'll begin the body of our hat when you get to the end of round seven and you have 72 half double crochets we have completed the increasing rounds for the top of our hat we're now going to begin the body of our hat and we're going to do that by going right into the top of that chain three and we're going to slip stitch to join the round we're going to chain three two and three that's going to count as our half double crochet we're going to do another half double crochet oops, right into that same stitch we're going to do one half double crochet into the next stitch and then we're going to skip that stitch the next one and then we're going to go into the next one and work two half double crochets and then we're going to work one half double crochet into the next stitch we're going to skip the next stitch and we're going to work two half double crochets into the next and then we're going to work one half double crochet into the next and then we're going to skip the next one and we're going to continue that repeating pattern of two half double crochets in one stitch one half double crochet into the next stitch and then into the next stitch we're going to just skip it so we're going to go two one skip two one skip and we're going to do that all the way around to complete round eight so go ahead and work that repeating pattern and i will meet you at the end of round eight when you get to the end of this round you should have a total of 72 half double crochets still and you should start to see your project relax a little bit and flatten out a little bit more so now we are going to continue building on the body of our hat and we're going to finish this round by doing a slip stitch right into the top of that chain three just wiggle your hook in there and slip stitch chain three one two and three so now this is where if you want to you can continue counting out your 72 stitches or you can go ahead and place your stitch marker right into the bottom of that stitch so you'll know when you get back to the end of the round so now to continue with this we're going to work a half double crochet right into that chain three stitch and that gives us two half double crochets in that stitch we're going to go right into the next stitch and work one half double crochet and we're going to skip the next 
And so basically what we're doing is we are just repeating the very last row that we did. And we're going to keep doing that row, excuse me, that round over and over until our hat is about seven to seven and a half inches long. So go ahead and keep working that repeat pattern of the last round of two half double crochets, one half double crochet, skip, two half double crochets, one half double crochet, skip, all the way around until your hat is the length that you want, that you're comfortable with, somewhere around seven to seven and a half inches will be long enough. And I will meet back up with you when you get there. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure my hat out here. And I am just between seven and seven and a half inches. So a little over seven, but not quite seven and a half. So we're gonna go ahead and start putting the brim on. I have already slip stitched into the first half double crochet of the round. To end the round, we're going to chain three. And we're going to work one half double crochet in each stitch around, including the skipped chains. So go ahead and work one half double crochet in each stitch around. Make sure you go into the skip stitches from before and do a half double crochet in that stitch as well. And I will meet you at the end of the round. When you get to the end of that round, we're going to slip stitch into that first half double crochet. I'm going to chain three. And then we're going to do a front post half double crochet around that first half double crochet. And then around the next one, we're going to do a back post half double crochet. And we're just gonna repeat that all the way around. So if you're new to crocheting, to do a front post half double crochet, you yarn over, you go to your next stitch, and you're gonna insert your hook in between the space, not into the stitch like you normally would, but into the space, and you're gonna go behind that post and come out to the other side, yarn over, pull a loop through, yarn over and pull through all three. That was a front post half double crochet. To do a back post, you yarn over. You're going to come through the space from the back. You're going to push that post to the back and go out again through the back, yarn over, pull up a loop. You got to get all those on there. There we go. Yarn over and pull through all three. And what this is going to do is it's going to create a textured ridge pattern and you'll see it more as we get going and then we're going to go do another front post half double crochet and then oops a back post half double crochet And we're just going to keep alternating that all the way around. So go ahead and then I will meet back up with you at the end of the round.
and you can already see where it's starting to create that texture. So when you get to the end of that round, we are going to slip stitch into that first chain, I mean that first stitch, half double crochet, from the beginning of the round. We're going to chain three, and we're going to repeat the very last row. So whatever you started with, a front post or a back post, that's what you want to do on this row as well. So we started with the front post, so we're going to do a front post first so that our ridges continue to line up. And then we're going to go do a back post. And we're going to repeat that all the way around, working our front post and our back post until we get to the end of the round. And so when you get there, I will join back up with you and we'll finish up and move on to the very last round. So when we get to the end of that round, we're going to do a slip stitch into that first half double crochet to join, chain three, and then we're going to repeat the last round one more time, working our front post and back post double crochet. So go ahead and work that all the way around, and then you can go ahead and fasten off your yarn, and our hats will be complete. So I will meet back up with you at the end of this round. When you get to the end of the round, you're going to join with a slip stitch, chain one, and cut off a tail. And pull that on through, secure it down, and then go ahead and weave in your ends, and we'll come back and look at our finished hat. Well, this is our joy hat. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please be sure and hit the like button and give it a thumbs up. If you have not already subscribed to my channel or you're new to my channel, Please hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos, tutorials, or crochet updates. Well, I hope you enjoyed making the Joy hat. If you did, please be sure and hit the like button and give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel or you have not yet subscribed, please do so so you don't miss any future videos, tutorials, or crochet updates. And until next Funday Monday, be joyful, stay crafty in your own way, Make your own joyful creations and let the creativity flow. Bye!